In this video, we'll show how you can maintain data in a SQL database using the new um, SQL Database Explorer option in the uh, um, Alpha Anywhere IDE. So to open up the Database Explorer, select the SQL Database Explorer command from the Tools menu uh, when the Web Control Panel has Focus. And this will open up the uh, Explorer with your previous settings enabled. So you can start off by choosing a connection string. So we'll go here and choose uh, Northwind. And we can go there and choose a uh, table. So we'll choose, say, the employees table. So what we see right now is um, that the employees table has a total of nine records. We're looking currently at a page size of 10 records per page. So therefore, there's only one page of data. But if we go and change, say, our page size to five, then you can see we now have two pages of data and we can go between different pages. So then when we click on a row over here, we get to see the actual data in that record. And if we double click, we open up an editor where we can edit the values in that record. So let's go, for example, and change that to say Mary and then go ahead and click save. So it says record was saved and now we've changed that record to Mary. So right now we're only looking at a single column from the employee table. So we can go there and turn on last name and first name and we can resize these columns. And then uh, this is remembered. So if we go now to say the customer table and then return to the employees table, you can see that it's remembered that last name and first name have been selected and it's restored the widths of those columns. So let's go now to the customer table. And then you can see that um, we're looking at, say, uh, five records per page. So let's go back to, say, 10 records. There is a total of 91 records in the current query, although the current query is all records. So let's go now and search for, say, London, comma, Paris, comma, Madrid. And then we'll specify that our search values here are characters. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit execute. And you can see now we're down to 11 records. And if we press the show SQL button over here, we can see what the actual SQL was that got executed and what arguments were passed uh, to the SQL. So you can see that basically the SQL that was executed was a like. So we've searched for all of the character fields in this record that contain either London or Paris or Madrid. So let's go now and choose a different table. So let's go now and choose, say, for example, orders. And let's go and add in, say, the uh, order date field over there. And now let's um, search for all records where the order date is uh, 7596. So we'll go here and type in 0705 slash 1996. We'll specify, sorry, let's go here, 07 slash. We'll specify that, that this is a date value. And now we'll go ahead and run the query. So you can see that if we, when we run the query here, oops, we need to actually change this from a date value to a date time value. So let's go there and make that date time and then click uh, execute. So now there's only one record that matches that criteria. And if we go look at our SQL, we can see that we search for order date equals the search value or required date or ship date. But if we wanna limit our search to a particular field, we can go here and select the field and we can go there and say order date. So this will limit our search to only be order date. So I'll go there and execute and then show SQL and there's the SQL. So we've only searched now in the uh, order date field. So again, to edit the value, just double click and then you can do any editing that you want. You can uh, delete this record or delete all the records in the query. And then you can go, of course, and you can add new records. So this would add a new record to the uh, orders table. So what we've shown in this video is how you can use this uh, tool to maintain the data in a uh, SQL database by performing 
all of the different CRUD operations, create, um, uh, insert, update, and delete. Uh, thanks very much.